Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, today is the uh, 21st of November 2011 and uh, happy uh, trading to you all. Uh, New York is now open and London is still uh, open. Moment please. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening to you all. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTWSYS uh, uh, 0 uh, zero 08 uh, traders and our website is www.stochastic-magdi.com uh, uh, for all trade we'll use the 5% uh, money management rules and apply stop loss in all uh, uh, trade uh, this video is for educational purposes only is neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial uh, instrument is primarily for a TSTWSYS a zero a zero eight a traders okay uh, we are looking at the s p uh, 500 on the hourly chart okay and i have here the standard macd okay 12 26 9 as i've been uh, doing a video recently regarding this a uh, simple uh, trading tool and uh, drawing the attention of traders away from the indicator okay so they may focus more on the price itself the number one indicator so uh, the indicator does not give uh, a signal but the indicator will give a warning okay a warning okay but the price will give the signal when the indicator is giving the warning okay we will not enter the trend but when the price give the signal we will enter the trend if you want to know more about the MACD indicator you need to go to www.stochastic-macd.com to master okay the MACD indicator okay last time in our video that we posted okay on our youtube channel www.youtube.com forward slash uh, we were somewhere uh, here exactly here okay in this session here okay we were in this session here and uh, we were on an hourly chart for the S&P 500, okay, and uh, I will maximize it for you so you can see clearly this one here. We were here, and MACD was crossing above the zero line. I was telling you that a lot of traders will think that they should buy because MACD was crossing above the zero line, but MACD is just giving a warning. But if the price is, uh, if MACD is crossing above the zero line, as I explained to traders already, we have increasing bullish momentum. And we expect in a, a, a resistance level to be broken. But if the price fails to break the resistance level, that's a sell signal, not a buy signal. And right here, uh, you can see that uh, where I draw my line still here, and uh, the price failed to break above the resistance level, and uh, <laughs> it just went down. Okay. So instead of buying above the zero line, we were selling. Okay. You see here. So since that time, I still have my line here. The price still going down. What's going on here? Uh, looking on the hourly chart alone, as I explained to you in the video that we titled, okay, market analysis part one, market analysis part two, okay, the market part one, the market part two, I will explain to you the importance of uh, uh, the trading, a triangle, the market first, the sector, and the individual financial uh, instrument. We are always trading the market, whether we are trading currency, stocks, or option we are trading the market so if we fail to incorporate the trading triangle in our trading arsenal we cannot achieve consistent winning trade this is the missing puzzle now some trader who are watching our video may get fed up with me because i'm saying the same thing over and over because it's too important so this is the message a lot of new traders can perfectly trade but they are trading in a wrong way okay losing trade do take place but consistent losing trade can be avoided if one try to do it properly okay so the market first the sector before the individual financial issue you can watch a video regarding the trading triangle at www.youtube.com for slash joe trio the heart of the trading triangle the leaders the news and the fundamental the same thing all the time we will continue to say the same thing in all our video until traders understand what we are talking about last friday Looking at the S&P 500 on the 50 minute chart, something was happening here. I will show you what was happening here. <coughs> A trend line was broken here, okay, on the 15 minute chart last Friday. 
A moment, please, as I'm getting my tooth out here. A trend line was broken here on a 15 minute chart last Friday. Okay? And traders start buying straight away here. Now, if you are buying like this, you know that this is not the best setup because in normal condition, when a trend line is broken, one must wait for the price to retest the trend line. So break above it, retest it, and turn around. Okay? That's the best scenario. But if you also stop, okay, because there is a support level here on this 15-minute uh, chart, if you stop here, okay, that's what you got. So if you are taking the trade here, you know that it's not uh, a gorgeous setup, you will, okay, you will manage the trade carefully. All right? So you can see that the price now finally went below it. You see, it went below it. If you go back again and look at the hourly chart, this is what we had on the hourly chart, okay? Impulsive move, corrective move. Impulsive move, corrective move. The high probability is that the price will continue the movement to the downside because there was a, a downward pressure followed by a consolidation or a correction. In the earlier wave of language, the all the experienced area we trader will give priority to a sell signal in this session. But the decision will not be made on on one single time frame because that's where the mistake is taking place. Okay? Moving on now to the daily chart. One will check what's going on in the daily chart. Okay? So last Friday we were on this horizontal line here, a kind of a support zone. You can say that, yes or no. You can. Okay, but if you look at for you, there was an impulsive move to the downside, a corrective move. Now the price went up again here, and then again we have again a corrective move, and we are at the lowest point of the corrective move again. Okay, and looking at MACD here, MACD did a very good job as always. MACD, if you understand the language of MACD, you are likely to make a better trading decision, a simple trading tool, but a powerful trading tool. The slope of MACD is the most powerful indication. The slope of MACD is down, you see? The slope is the most important thing, not below the signal line or anything else. The slope of MACD, MACD is heavier than the price. The slope is rolling it down. You see here, I explained it to you last time. And also the price itself, the number one indicator, right here, the language of the price, lower high, a high followed by lower high. It's a bearish pressure. Do not disregard this kind of uh, language. Do not, okay? Do not just disregard it and do your own thing. Don't, don't do that, okay? I'm going to move uh, this uh, support level here, move it down to this level here so I can draw my triangle nicely here. You see the triangle here. You see, the triangle is a very powerful tool, okay, in trading. So if you want to buy, the best place to buy is to buy above this uh, the edge of uh, what I will do, I will maximize it for you, hopefully, so it makes more sense uh, unless I'm talking to myself so you can see clearly here. So the best place to buy is above give, okay, this line. That would be a better place. Now, inside this uncertainty zone, so you are just playing it, day trading carefully, because this is in decision section. We don't know where it's going to pop, out, or down. So, we must, okay, be careful, because we want to win we don't want to lose okay but look it pop out the side okay and magdi just was telling us long long time even though the triangle was going on magdi was pointing the pressure to the downside but we do not trade magdi we are trading the price so from the daily chart those who are using the tstwsy s008 or tstwsy 8 will monitor carefully okay what is about to take place and somebody who is using the TSTWSY08 properly can perfectly cream okay, the market with uh, the, all this red day. This is what we call red day, another red day here. Yeah, this is an uncertainty day. Okay? Check it out. Okay? TSTW24 trader, that is uh, respecting the first best time frame. That particular day will know that it's a priority to a sell signal, priority to sell signal again today. Priority to sell signal here, priority to buy signal here. Simple trading tool, crazily simple trading tool, but powerful tool. We do not use MACD in the TSTW uh, trading system. Okay? 
So now you see the bigger picture now. Let's try to be a bit curious, okay? And uh, look on, for instance, I'll uh, go to the three days chart. This is each candle here is three days, okay? Can you see that? Okay? It was out of the triangle here, three days, you see? Chart. Price went down, consolidation went up, form a triangle, now it's coming out. Okay? And mark this here, went up to uh, this level here, near the zero line, now bending, you see? It's bending. Okay? It's giving a warning. Mark this, giving a warning. But the price will give the signal. Mark this, giving a warning. But the price will give the signal. Okay? So try to incorporate the trading triangle, okay? Yes, that's one triangle. The second triangle is the multiple time frame trading. You need a proper, okay, multiple time frame trading system, okay? The higher time frame, the signal time frame, and the entry time frame, okay? Do not make a trading decision on one single time frame. Now, for new traders, you are learning, so give it a time, okay? But protect your trading capital because you don't want to be out of the market you want to remain in the market so five percent money money will rule stop loss in all trade no over trading respect the opening brands use the pivot line pivot line if you are day trading very important okay if you want to swing trade you must use the trading triangle you are trading always the market the sector before the individual financial instrument. A lot of swing traders will trade only this part of the triangle. Or they will forget these two parts, the market and the sector. So they see a pattern on the one stock, double top, double bottom, inverted head and shoulder on the daily chart, and they swing trade. They don't want to know about the market. They don't want to know about the sector. They don't want to know about the fundamental. They don't want to know about the leader. They don't want to know about the news. And suddenly, a very beautiful, gorgeous, bullish signal fell because of these... Uh, you are just trading one side of the triangle, okay? Or you are trading only the sector side of the triangle, okay? Combine all of them together, okay? And you will see slowly, if you try to do it properly, slowly, you will start avoiding the same mistake because some traders, all they are doing, they are just repeating the same mistake. And uh, some traders don't even know that they are making a mistake, the same mistake. One of the... Uh, my strong point is that whenever I have a losing trade, I look and try to understand what went wrong. The second is that I'm fully responsible for all my trading decisions, okay? Fully responsible for all my trading decisions, okay? So, if I lose, I know that, okay, I made a mistake. But if I win, okay, I know that I make a right decision, and I want to know why this uh, trade has been successful also. What have I done right? So next time, I, and when I receive, when I see the same thing, I want to take advantage of it. Okay? So, it's just uh, my blah, blah, blah for all traders, okay, in this uh, messy market. Let's go back again to the 50 minute chart. The trend line is broken on the 50 minute chart, okay? And you want to buy. You will pay attention at least if you are if you are a lazy trader like I was myself before. At least look on the hourly chart. What's going on? There's a consolidation was taking place. I will uh, maximize it for you so you can see it clearly what's going on here. This is about last Friday. The prior was consolidating here, so the strategy for consolidation on the hourly chart. But this is what we are talking about. You want to buy on one time frame or you want to sell on one time frame, you look on the higher time frame and you choose also entry time frame. So the entry time frame will tell you that now it's ready. Enter the trade. Because if the cycle is about to begin, the cycle will, be, will begin from the lower time frame. That's why you will see it first. So you want to buy, you want the cycle to start. And you want to know when to join the cycle. Okay? So now all these people that were buying last Friday, now they are out of their trade today because they didn't understand okay, the multiple time frame okay, trading method. So, I mean, slowly by surely, okay, one will learn it, okay, one will learn it. This is uh, the a monthly chart uh, for the S&P 500 
and uh, I will remove uh, some of the line here that I have on my monthly chart for the S&P 500 and this is what we like to call the S&P 500 this is what we like to call the market the market is the S&P 500 okay if you look at the Nikkei 225 the FTSE 100 you look at the CAC 40 all the major indices they are following the S&P 500 okay the market is the S&P 500 Dow Jones is a market indicator, FTSE 100 is a market indicator, Nikkei 225 is a market indicator, okay? All the major indices are market indicators, but the market, looking at the trading triangle, is the S&P 500, okay? The market, okay? So, by doing the right thing, one can perfectly avoid the same mistake because you don't want to repeat the same mistake over and over. So what we have said is that when MACD is above the zero line, the price should be okay in a rising channel. Okay, if you go to www.stochasticmacd.com, there are video regarding MACD and also about the stochastic. But sometimes, what usually takes place, MACD will be the price will be in a rising channel for some times before MACD will reach the top of the zero line. And suddenly, MACD will change direction, okay? But those who are trading the price will know because it's in the channel. If you want to buy, you see here, we are in the channel here. If you want to buy, you want to buy on this side of the, of the channel. You, want, you don't want to buy here. You want to buy here. That's the best place to buy here. So, you are waiting for your signal here. Cautious traders, okay, conservative traders prudent traders we want to buy here but look what's happened here this is on a monthly channel this uh, channel here that is rising here has been broken and retested here break below it retested here so this month you see this uh, red candle going on what is going to go through your mind now you see it on the monthly chart now you understand why all this uh, bullish signal on the hourly chart on the 50 minute chart that are failing because some traders watch this on the monthly chart they say look at the channel is broken and retest it on the monthly chart and they are selling okay if you like I can uh, make it bigger for you so you can see it you see it's broken break below it same story break below it retest it turn around what's going on here turn around it's going down we want the stop all level we don't know where it's going to stop you don't want to be the last person selling okay there's a support there today. You see, we are putting the support level there, and we will acknowledge. We we will acknowledge that. So, if you want to buy at this support level now, you can just be curious and say, okay, let's see what's happening on the quarterly chart. Okay. This what's happening on the quarterly chart. See, break below it. This quarterly chart is still being formed here because will, this candle will be completed at the end of uh, December. This candle here, the green one here like we can make it bigger again so the missing puzzle in the trading is the trading triangle which is a trading tool for stochasticmarket.com traders professional always use this tool okay but we put it here simplifying it simple for traders so they can it doesn't matter whether you are using TSTW24 TSTWSY08 or TSTWSY008 you must use the trading triangle and also the multiple time frame trading system and use stop loss and a five percent and money management rules without cutting corners okay so now we see it now on the quarterly chart you see a beautiful rising channel is now broken telling us a weakness in the rising momentum what we will do we will project this channel to the downside that's what happened as soon as it go below it Project the channel. Okay, it's not difficult, isn't it? Just make this the same size of the channel where the price pop out to. Just project it again. Project it. That's it. You see, that's why he finally support finally. You see, professional doing this all the time. Equal measure. Okay. You see, so that's why they did stop here. The projection of the channel. Project it to the other side. Using pitchfork tools and the, all the other tools. That's what's happening here. You see. So now, we catch it here, okay? 
All right? Because some traders, there are few things that they just need to know. Once they know it, they are on their way. We don't want traders to be dependent on us or paying a subscription fee every month. We want them to know it and do it themselves. Simple. Okay? Simple. Because trading is a messy game, but a simple game. Okay? So rare. And is it projecting? Yeah, we are here. Yeah. Okay? So, do not forget also the media line of uh, the channel. Each time you draw a channel, if you don't want to draw the media line, but remember the media line, okay? Remember the media line. I, traders are watching these levels carefully. Every channel has a media line. Every channel, every channel has a media line. And professionals are watching it and they are taking profit in those sections. So, if you are buying here, you are approaching the media line, take some profit, bank it. Before it turn around again, okay? Because some trader would like to sell here or buy here. The most busiest place, the busiest place, not the most, the busiest place for this uh, for the channel is the middle line. That's the busiest place, okay? Right here. Okay. As you can see, just paying attention. Most of the time, what we are talking about is the price. Non stop the price. Even though MACD is sitting here, MACD is there to assist us, okay? Whether you are using the stochastic, the CCI, the RSI, whichever indicator that you are using, whichever uh, algorithm you created for yourself, it's not going to work if you don't take the signal from the price itself. It's just simple. Now we give traders recently the TSTW key zero 01. Some traders are trading the indicator instead of watching the price, the patterns together with uh, the indicators. Trading the price, the watching indicator by receiving the signal for the price, understanding the definition of uptrend downtrend, using the multiple time frame trading system. What we have done, some traders are busy with uh, the lower time frame. This is perfectly okay because they are new traders. They are playing with uh, the lower time frame, 5 minute, 10 minute, 15 minute chart. Now, it takes time. I've done it myself. I know how it is. So, pff, it's part of the learning process. But <laughs> the important thing is that <laughs> they don't waste too much money and take it out of the market altogether okay to remain in the market okay so this is uh, about my blah 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 regarding the s p 500 i hope you enjoyed this video regarding the s p 500 that you will put into practice in order okay to cream the market uh, uh, consistently we are the tspw sys 008 uh, traders thank you for watching and we will speak to you very soon.